Hello everybody, it is your boy Twin Plays here, back in a video, I hope you guys are all doing amazing. So today in this video, we are going to be looking at a live uh, group member count board. Now, um, this is pretty cool, I actually just looked into suggestions real quick in my Discord, and I think it's AVFRX, one of my friends, who decided to uh, suggest this, so I decided to make it. Um, th thanks to Dev Daniel actually he helped me out just finish it real quick I was messing up with some Jason stuff, but um, yeah welcome if you're new to the channel everybody feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications It means so much to me. Um, we're almost at 31,000 subscribers, which is amazing Well, we hit 30,500 just now, so that's nice if you want join the discord in the description it means a lot We are almost at you know, 2,500 members, which is gonna be awesome you guys and same for the group after right here We're almost at 2,500 members, which is amazing you guys i mean i don't even ask you guys to join but you're in it you know it i love you guys um <laughs> so as you can tell this is kind of like the youtube subscriber count board you know have the name have the image you got the um certain amount you want right here i mean your your group members and then of course we have the goal um now so basically i'm going to kind of show you in depth how to do this now if you haven't watched my past videos, I really want you to go look at the one, uh, there's two of them, okay? There's one that shows you how to make a proxy on Please Donate, and then there's one also just making the live YouTube scout subscriber account board. Now, the thing that I just realized is I think Row Proxy is down, and um, guys, if you don't know, Proxy is kind of like your own website database, I guess you could say. And um, we're going to be making our own. I'm not going to really show you in depth how to do this. There's a tutorial on it online, which I'm just going to direct you towards. So just check out all the links in the description. Open them all up, and you'll learn how to make this easily. Um, I'm just giving you all the scripts, of course. Now, you can see my output is kind of being spammed right now, which I'm going to show you how to get rid of. But what is being spammed, actually, is the group. So it shows you this description. It gets you, like, has verified badge. Uh, oh, that's a new one. That's really cool. Has verified badge, the ID, the Builders Club only, members count, name, the owner, which will pop up me, you know, like and it says has verified badge. That's really cool. I, I, I really want that verified badge. Um, and then it has like the group shouts. So this is what's really cool. Um, so let's hop straight into this, everybody. All right, everyone. So you're going to go to the description and you're going to grab this board. Now it's going to say live count member board. So feel free to grab this and we're going to be basically importing it into studio. Um, so if you don't know how to do that, you just go to go to your inventory or toolbox, go to inventory and then grab this thing right here. Um, I'm going to hit OK. Don't worry. Um, and there's going to be a few things. We have this folder up here, which you know, I'm going to expand this so you guys can see just a little bit. Um, right here, and it says ungroup and server script and ungroup and workspace. So we're going to drag this to workspace. We're going to drag this to server script service. We are going to ungroup. And then we are going to ungroup. And that would be embedded. Boom, we're done. You can delete this folder. Um, so we have a few things. We have the board, we have the main script, and we have HTTP proxy service. Now, this was actually made by Nexus Avenger. So I want you guys to really take a look at this on how to use it. Um, there is actually a whole tutorial on this, and this is what I'm going to put in the description right here. And it will show you how to set it up like a Google app script. And then you're basically going to create something just like this right here. And you're be putting this code in. So, you know, don't worry about copying. You just this is what we're doing. So follow this tutorial. It takes two seconds. You're going to publish it. Um, you can also go check out my other videos. And then um, you got the module. And you're, you're all good. You're going to get this module, or the, which I already have for you guys. Um, and you don't really need to worry about that. So um, that's about it. So you're going to put the script ID right here. This script ID will be what this, um, you know, I kind of didn't really say that real, real quick. After you set it up, it is going to be this right here. So make sure to put your script ID in there. I just don't want to show mine, of course. But um, put that in there, and you'll you'll know what I mean after setting it up through that tutorial. Uh, but that's it. So leave this in workspace. Um, I mean, you could put this in replicated storage. I just put it in workspace because everyone else was doing that. But depending on your organization, we'll just have to edit that in the main script, which we'll look at in a second. Um, but this is the board. So... It's a little different um you know i have a few things we have the extra which is the, literally what the board looks like so if you want to mess with how it looks you know you can change the colors um you know you don't have to have it all the same but really just be careful with um the surface gui stuff right here so it's going to be board and then gui so you don't want to really touch anything here but you can touch like the service gui stuff like image label goal you know you just mess with this but don't change the names or like the positions or the parents or childs so um, image label. This is going to be the group icon. So you just go down here, go to your image right here, and you can change it to anything. You can hit add image and it'll make something. Um, so let's say I wanted to do it for this 
logo is the group you know the group logo so you can just change that upload it whatever you need it is not going to automatically do it for you that's what i forgot to really add into the script but you know who cares it's super simple um so then we have the goal so this is the goal down here now you can really customize this you can do background transparency off you know you can set the color to like um anything i can have like a stroke color of like red let's say let's do red and then stroke transparency means zero and then you know something like that look kind of cool um and you can really change the size of this by going into here and see the size and positions positions we have the x values and the y values um so really mess with it um you know depending on how you shrink the board and actually i think if you do just shrink it in general so that's gonna happen so th this is what's really confusing to me i just you know i kind of should have done a billboard gui if i'm right um or i think i'm just screwing up right either way in general um <laughs> oh you know what it's because i don't have a frame you should you should have a frame and then put it inside the frame so it just does the whole thing but that's my fault you just have to mess with that um we got the goal right here group members which is just gonna be set to zero and group name is na so it will automatically update um but yeah so in the main script okay so I had to attempt this like three times, but we made this a little bit better. Honestly, better than probably the YouTube subscriber count board because we don't have we don't have that P call in the last one. So we grab the HTTP service and the HTTP proxy, which we're going to clone it. Okay, we're going to clone this script and workspace because we're going to be using this module in order to decode and get the async of the um, website. I guess you could say proxy. So we have the board, which is going to be game.workspace.board, which is going to be right here. And we're going to get the group display, which is going to be that GUI. And then we're going to do the group left data, which is going to be that goal right here, which we're going to be using down in here. So we get the group ID. So you're going to have to go to your group and grab that group ID. Now, if you don't know how to do that, it's pretty simple. Um, you know, you just go into your groups right here and... Uh, it's gonna be this number right there so just grab that number no worries um, once you get that you're all right um, so feel free to just put that into here and then we have this local members and local names variable um, reason being is we want this to be global so local global whatever we want this to be global so we can use it across into this one as well um, so I mean into here so what we do is we make a while loop okay and we do it every 10 seconds now you can change this to five you can change this to two I mean, whatever you want, but you don't want to make it too slow. You want to make it really update every 10 seconds. You can even do 60 seconds if you don't even want to worry about the exhaustion time. By that meaning, you don't want to like overdo scripts by making a loop that just constantly does it. And this is checking online, which is, you know, a lot. So we have this pcall function. Now the pcall is basically going to make sure that this function works. And if it doesn't work, like something goes wrong, it's going to print out the error right here, which of course for now, it doesn't really matter. You can honestly get rid of it and... Well, actually, you shouldn't get rid of it because what will happen is if something goes wrong, it will let you know the error. So we have the group ID. Um, honestly, you could remove this. I don't know why I did that again. I think we just to check again. Um, you can remove that. Uh, I'm sorry. I forgot to really do that. Group ID. And we have the print data. So this was what print was printing out that table. So if you don't want to see that table in your output every five, 10 seconds, just delete this. And by the way, this is in seconds right here. I can really explain well. It's 10 seconds. You can change this to 60, you know, to your choice. Um, so basically, yeah, you're just going to make sure you have that. And what we're doing is we're going to decode all the information we're getting from here. So this is what I was doing wrong is I had JSON encode and I didn't have the decode, but now that I do that, we are able to, um, get all the groups from Roblox and then we are going to go to our group and get that data. So we have members, which is going to be data dot member count and then name equals data dot name. Now it's spelled out like this because the, in the table that we printed that we saw in the output, you saw that it said member count and name. So that's what's really what we're grabbing. Um, so then we go to the group count, which is going to go to that group members right here. Go to the text and we're going to string dot format. We're going to format that members and we're going to basically put that number on the, the board. So then we have the main text and we're basically going to go to the grab that by grabbing the um group members text we're going to create a goal by doing fifty thousand. you can change this to twenty thousand, whatever you like and we're going to minus it from two number main text is insane we're going to minus it from whatever that main text is now don't worry about the red error I, honestly there's a better way to do this but um it it, it works it, it's not not working so that's what's really weird to me on this i don't know why it's red but it works um so then the group left data dot text is going to say members left till goal um, we're just going to do that, you know, and then goal two. So nothing to worry about, which is going to be goal right here. Um, and then we have the group name, which is going to string.format the name that we get right here. 
And then down from the members left, we're going to check if the group members text is changed. So this is a change value. So we see if it gets changed at all, like something in the character values or like the text changes. And if it does, we get that text and we basically minus it from that goal and we are going to, um, you know, put it on the board again. Now I could honestly just put two number dot uh, members because this is a global variable, but we're going to just do text because why not just get the exact amount just in case that's wrong. So that's about it, you guys. It's really simple. All you really need to do is create your own proxy, put it into the script ID right here, grab this and put it your group ID and that's it. It will be ready for you. Now, just what I mean by that, you got to go make sure you create that API. It's going to look something like this. You're going to hit deploy and new deployment and then it's going to say you're going to publish it to the web. Make sure it's on the web, web page and you're going to allow it for anyone to be able to see it. We want to make sure anyone's set and then you're going to be able to use it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Um, thank you for the suggestion. I'm going to try out as many tutorials as possible. I'm doing a lot of short form content as well. Um, but I will see you guys in the next one. One of my friends is editing this right now. So we'll see how good he does it. <laughs> bye bye everyone.